that right rudder on touchdown. Yeah. Oh, 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 Robbie, that was a oh, oh, oh. It's called a greaser. Robbie, how'd you do that? Robbie, how'd you do that? Could you teach me how to do that? Whoa, Robbie. Huh? Robbie. It's called a greaser. Wow. It's about 75. Robbie, up. you have it. Yeah, I'm getting better. <laughs> Robbie, <laughs> you have it. <laughs> Holy cow, Robbie. We're going to leave on a good note. Let's head oh, tomorrow. Whoa. Oh, I can pull out the VY. Whoa, Robbie. Absolutely phenomenal. Wow. That was pretty good. Absolutely phenomenal. That was incredible. What do you want to do? That was incredible. Do you have enough landings? All right. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's climb up. Let's do a call. We'll say we're climbing straight out southbound. Any kind of traffic, white uh, uh upwind, climbing out. Uh, one five. One five. In your cracker. Cool. Let's climb up to uh, 5,500. Uh, and give me a heading of 180. How much more energy do you have in you? A little bit more. Cool. Not a lot more. I should have made a couple of good landings. The what? I just got a lot more. I've been made a couple of good landings. Man, that landing was incredible. Absolutely phenomenal. Go to work. Let's go to 4.5. Laps are up. Let's go 34 gallons an hour on the fuel. Let me get it back to uh, 30. Oh, in that case, let's go to 20 gallons an hour. One to go. Actually, 4.5 is good. 4,500. Let's do that. Let's do some slow flight. Okay. Um, show me 4,500 heading 210. And let's go to 4,500. So why did we blow through the 210? Because I was too worried about my altitude. Altitude? Cool. Yeah. And I want you to show me 80 knots. 80 knots. Let's switch that so we don't hear that. So 4,500, 210, and 80 knots. No flaps. And let's do this. 45. 210, 80 knots. Okay. 45, 210, 80 knots. Let's talk a little bit about slow flight. Do we have a lot of drag or a little drag in slow flight? A lot of drag. Good. So you have a lot of that angle of attack. So we have a lot of induced drag. Then if you add flaps, it's even more angle of attack. And it's even more parasitic drag, so it's a lot of drag. So that's why we need more power than you typically would to fly slow. So let's go back up to 45. Here's the rule number one in slow flight. It is extremely difficult to gain your altitude back. 
Yeah. Very difficult, especially if you have flaps. We don't have flaps right now. But it's extremely difficult to gain your altitude back in slow flight. Good. There you go. It's maintained 45, 210, and 80 knots. You know what, just because you're there, 75 knots. Five hundred feet, two one zero, seventy five knots. Good work. Now here's what I want you to do. I want you to climb up to fifty five hundred feet, maintaining seventy five knots. Could you do that? Yeah. And two one zero on the heading. because we have a lot of power and a lot of what else? Uh, torque. Pitch. Pitch. We're getting there slowly. Uh-huh. 55, you said? 55. I get some more power. At 75 knots. So slow flight, the reason we call it slow flight, yes, we're flying slow, but here's the other reason. Slow flight, slow motion, which I'm sure you're realizing, everything happens slowly. Let's keep it coming to 75, at 75 knots. Slow flight, slow motion, everything, take your time, lead everything, be slow, be shallow, nothing steep. Because in slow flight, your speed fluctuations are so much faster than they would be in uh, under normal conditions. So you want to anticipate everything. Get back on my hay. Good. Good. Nice shot. And the key with constant airspeed climbs and or descends is keep the power where it's at. Don't fluctuate it. Set it and leave it. Good. All we care about is pitch. All we care about is pitch. Because I don't care about the rate of climb. It's irrelevant to me. All we ask to, to do is to maintain 75 knots. I don't care if this thing goes to 10,000 feet a minute. I'll take it. Make sense? Yes. Cool. While you do that, I want you to turn to a heading of 110. 110. While maintaining 75 knots. Turn your heading back to 110. Slow fly. Good work. Got a lot of right rudder. A lot of right rudder. Want to go? We're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. Seventy-five knots. Give me a left turn heading zero eight zero. I should blew through it. We blew through it because when did we begin rolling out of the turn? At zero eight zero. Yeah. So we need a lead or rollouts. Lead or rollouts. That's a huge thing in flying. Because if you start doing the thing at the place you want to be at, yeah. you'll blow right through it. Good work. Oh, we are with the... 75. Just some updraft. Oh, yeah. There we go. 
We'll be doing it at 75. I'll tell you in a moment. In fact, this is fine. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to go ahead and do your very best to level out, maintain altitude. Maintain altitude. Uh -huh. But what I want you to do is slow all the way while maintaining uh, maintaining altitude while flirting with the stall warning horn. So I oh, want to okay. hear that horn going off. Okay. So don't climb. Oh, well. Just maintain the altitude, but at a pitch attitude. Oh, okay. I got you. High enough, right? So we'll yeah. reduce power. Yeah. Good. And let's flirt with the stall warning horn. Okay. Do you know how to flirt, Robbie? <laughs> I forgot how. <laughs> There you go. Look outside. Don't look here. Look outside. Forget the altitude. Even if you don't, just try and maintain it by looking outside. Just look outside. Just look outside. Good. There's the stall warning horn. Just keep that warning horn coming. I want to hear that warning horn coming. Good. You've got a stall kit, man. It's going to take a while. <laughs> That's fine. Good. I love the sound of that warning horn. Hear that? Yeah. Good. Good. Before you drop it, try to get some power. This is good. It's good stuff. Good. So now we're flying straight with the stall uh, warning horn going off. Easy? Yeah. Good. Now what I want you to do is go ahead and introduce flaps 10 and keep the same thing coming. Nice job. Oh. Man, that horn's going for decades. <laughs> I love it. Beautiful. Good. So this is what's called... Hey, we're still at 75. Look at you, man. <laughs> this is what's called flying close to the critical angle of attack. I'd like, so, like, like to see this thing on yeah, there. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get it. So the, look at that horn. Keep it Dude, coming. we're at 50. Keep it coming. Let's see how long you can keep it coming. All the way to China. <laughs> All right, now go flap 20. <laughs> I got earphones. Good. Keep that horn coming. Let's flirt with the stall warning horn. I want Ooh. you to feel this. Feel how mushy this is? Yeah. Look at this. We're moving this. The plane is barely moving. You see that? Yeah. There you go. Flirt with it. You see how non-responsive the plane is? It's sluggish. Right? There's not a lot of energy going on. We're almost yeah. at a lift. Man, you hear that horn? Go flaps full and see how much power we need with flaps full. A lot of power. Damn, I just felt it kick in. Even more power. Even more power. Ceiling is stall. Even more power. Wow. Even more power. Holy Probably God. full power. Look, we're at 40 we knots. Need, we need full power to, <clears throat> to maintain 40 knots. Isn't that something? Wow. Hear that stall warning horn coming? Yeah. Look outside, we're almost going backwards. You see what the full flaps feels like? It's crazy. All right, lower the nose, go flaps 20. You see how much power you need? Yeah. Cement that in your head. Cement wow. that in your head. Cement that in your head. Good, let's recover, let's get out of that. Take the flaps out completely, good. Oh no, you it. just lost an engine. Okay, I'm gonna pitch for 80. Oh shit. Pitch for 80. Turn this thing back. Oh, there's a road right there. You picked a spot? Not quite yet, but I'm looking. I think I can make it all the way over there. Cool. Get coordinated. Good. Let's, let's abort it, actually, because there's the restricted. But good. So you did great. I just trimmed it all the way back. Good. You did great. What I want you to do, be is, I want it to be more, eventually, more ha second hand. Okay. Right? Second nature, I mean. You lose an engine, boom. Pick a spot. I'm going there. Turn towards it. Fly there. There's okay. zero time to waste, Robbie. Zero. 
Make sense? Yeah. Cool. Good. Let's not descend below six. Let's maintain our altitude. Solid work flirting with the um, flirting with the uh, stall warning horn. Absolutely phenomenal. You kept that thing coming for days. Good stuff. Yours hurt. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Wait, your plane real quick. Let me get a drink. My plane. All right. My plane. Okay, my plane. Your plane. Uh, we're, 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 Let's we're, climb up to 7,500. Okay, climb up. up, up. Uh, 7,500. Honey. Good cruise climb. Solid work. Absolutely phenomenal. Okay. Pull back the tire a little bit. Okay. 30, 24, 20. Get coordinated a little bit here. I want you to not be afraid of the airplane. I want you to know exactly what the plane will do when blah, blah, blah. Does that make sense? Yeah. I want you to fly it. Tell the plane what to do. You are in charge. Don't be intimidated by it. It's here to listen to you. That's it. Wow, well, I am feeling a little bit better as we... Uh, the what? Get more and more comfortable as the more we fly. Good. Hopefully. Oh, yeah. That's the goal. Good stuff. Have you ever done steep turns? Been a while. No, not really. My airplane? Yeah, I think. My airplane. So a steep turn is a turn where is done steeply, basically. Um, more than uh, 45 degrees or so. Um, so your steep turns on the private will be 45 degrees. Um, in a steep turn, do we maintain our altitude? Yeah. Do we maintain our bank angle? Yeah. Good. Do we maintain our pitch attitude? No, it's going to increase. Our pitch attitude varies. Not necessarily increase, but it varies. On the radar, yeah. Right? We may, we vary our pitch to maintain our altitude. Make sense? Yes. Cool. So now forget numbers, right? In fact, let's look outside. Okay. Because I, I just want to demonstrate the idea of what a steep turn is. Don't care about numbers. Don't care about anything. So let's go to 120 on the speed. go to 120. I just want you to get an idea. And then we'll look at the outside. And I'll show you how by looking at the horizon, where the horizon, right now in the turn, do you see how the horizon meets the dashboard on some, at some point on the dash? Yeah. Point on the dash where it meets it. You see it right there? Yeah. So now, if the horizon ends up higher than that point, are we climbing or descending? Good. And if it ends up lower than that point, are we climbing? Yeah. Good. So now, you, you see the horizon? Uh -huh. So right now, I want you to tell me whether or not we're climbing or descending. Descending. Okay. Well, now, you're, now you're about straight. Now. Straight? Yeah. Cool. How about now? What? Uh, you're climbing. Oh, this is nothing. How about now? That looks pretty good. Staying straight, the mountain range is. There you go, right? So it looks like it's pretty straight with the mountains? Yeah. What degree are you banking on you right now? I'm not even sure, and I don't care. All I want you to do is see what the horizon looks like. So right now, am I climbing or yeah, descending? Climbing. climbing, right? Full of G's. So this is not quite G's, because we're climbing. If we did that while maintaining our altitude, we'd feel it in our stomachs. So check it out. Here we go. Whoa. 
Damn. That's Jeeves. Feel that? Oh, god damn. Felt that? That's maintaining altitude or staying at the same height. Damn, why would you want to turn that steep? No, it's not turning that steep. So I just want to show you oh. the how basically it steep turns and what it looks like. So now, Man. let's go to 45 degrees and see what that looks like. Okay. We'll just introduce steep turns. So we'll go to 120. We'll go to 7,500. And let's see what 45 degrees of bank look like. So there's 30. There's 45, that's it. Okay. That's 45. That's 45 right there. Good. That's 45 degrees of bank. 45 degrees, 7,500 feet. Could even go a little steeper. There we go. 45 degrees, 7,500 feet. Pretty good. And you could do this for days. Dizzy. Dizzy. There we go. Look outside. Cool. Got the air on you? Yeah. So uh, steep turns. So steep turns will be 45 degrees of bank. Get that under. We'll go to 120 knots. You want we'll me to try one? The what? You want me to try one? You want to try one? Yeah. I don't want you to get a headache, but... Oh, I'll try. So we'll do 120. We'll maintain our altitude. Okay. And 45 degrees of bank. That's this right here. See that line? Yeah. Cool. 7,500, go 120. You want to go right or left? Whatever you want. Knock yourself out. Okay. All right, I'll go right. Oh, God. Yeah. Nice, Robbie. <laughs> oh, Robbie. Now you're just showing off, Robbie. <laughs> I'm going to show you my trick. Now you're just showing off. I'm not going to show you my trick. I know your trick. <laughs> <laughs> Who taught you that trick? <laughs> uh, now you're just showing off. Uh, now you're just showing off. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's get 75. There you go. Get that green ball slightly above the line. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You see, if, if it's above the line, you're climbing. If it's on the line, you're holding. There you go. <laughs> That's a good trick. <laughs> That's a good trick right there. Oh, man. That's good stuff. Absolutely solid. Good. So I'm not looking for perfect. I just want to introduce yeah. the idea of steep turns, right? Easy? So that's steep turn. Cool? Yeah. Awesome. Dirty, man. All right. Now, we lost an engine. I want you to hold your altitude till we reach 80 and then start descending. Now look outside and pick a spot. Oh, that road right there, I know it's really bumpy though. Pick a spot. There's this road right here, but right underneath of this. Okay, cool. So we could yeah. start descending over it, right? Yeah, we'll get coordinated a little bit. Yeah, we could start descending over. <laughs> Maintain 80. What would you do now? Would you try and get your engine back? Do you think we have yeah, time? Yeah, go. Make sure your prop is full or everything. Turn your fuel pump on. Fuel selector both. On mixture both. rich or admit, ad, enrich in the mixture. Um, Make sure the fuel pump is on, and then you could also try and start the engine, right? Yeah, if it's, yeah perfect. Correct. Now, what if none of that works? Then, uh, then you keep doing what you're doing, right? Yeah. Keep Good. 
And do we have time to declare an emergency in Squawk 7700? Yeah. Good. You just go ahead and 7500. Solid. How about the ELT? You can arm it. Good. It is armed. Oh, it's already on. It's armed, yeah. But we could turn it on. Um, what else? For a safe landing, make sure belts are on, doors are open, and crack them open a little Good. Bit. Do you see the spot that you wanted to land on? Yeah. Because I really want to make sure that you'd make it. Oh, so, yeah. show, prove to me that we would make it. Okay. And we're going to go down to 500 feet above the ground. So, I want you to prove to me that indeed the spot you think you could make, we will make. Yeah. Good. Ideally, if you picked a spot that's further from us, we would fly straight to it and descend over it. Always, always first go to your spot and then descend over. Because once you confirmed you made it, now we could descend. Now, when you're, when you're doing this, I mean, always keep it off your left side so you can see it. Because sometimes if you turn that way, you won't be able to... Either or. I mean, okay. you could you could treat it just well, like that. see pattern. what way the wind's right now, too. So you'd want to line, Correct. line that way. Correct. What else could you look out for in the area while you're descending to figure out the wind direction? Sure. Any smoke. Yeah. Fires. Smoke is a phenomenal, phenomenal giveaway. Right? Yeah. Especially in the summer. Unfortunately, there's some fires. Um, so you could see exactly what the wind's doing. If you're coming in the area of water, you could look at the water, right? Yes. See what direction the wind is coming from. Otherwise, we have this, so we'll gauge it as we get down closer. Good work. And I want you to prove to me that we indeed will make it. Now, just for the heck of it, I'm just clearing the engine here a little bit. Oh, God. There you go. You want to keep uh, turning shit, not, not those steep banks. Cause it kills the what? You. you don't want to turn too much because it kills your... Correct. Your Correct. Seat. Correct, because we need more angle of attack. Uh, there's more angle of attack when we bank, when we turn. Now, I think going around twice. I, do whatever I, you need to do. I, I would think if you're, if I was good enough, you could slip it down into there. You don't need to slip it. Look how long the road is. Yeah, but I'm just saying if it's short, you know what I mean? Well, let's real life. So we're dealing with this. Do you think we could afford another 360? I think so. Cool. I mean, I don't want to think, but I don't know. We'll try it. Yeah. Look at this. Check we'll it out. 1,000 feet a minute. So Check it out. Check it out. The terrain beneath us is 3,000. Yeah. And we're, so we have 1,000 feet. We're good. About Treat it like feet. a batter. Yeah. Do flaps. Caution. The whole thing. Just don't do full terrain. flaps. Terrain. Terrain. Go to flaps 20. Don't do full flaps. Good. Yeah, we're definitely high. Watch your speed. Uh, Watch your speed. And coordination. Coordination is key. Oh, wow. You see what flaps does? Damn. Good. Caution. Terrain. Keep it turning. Warning. Keep it turning. Terrain. Keep it turning. Terrain. Keep it turning. Warning. Terrain. Terrain. Maintain 75. Warning. Terrain. Terrain. Good. Go flaps. Warning. 20. Terrain. Terrain. I was gonna go that. Oh, no, I'm that's this. Warning. Yeah. This looks better. Terrain. Flaps 20. Terrain. Go over it. Warning. Terrain. Oh, yeah. Terrain. You want me to do a warning? Thing? Would we make terrain? It? Yeah. Oh, terrain. Yeah. We would make it right. Do a touch and go. No. Warning. Sure. Terrain. Full, full, full power. Terrain. Full power. Full power. Warning. Terrain. Terrain. Flaps. Warning. Down. Terrain. We would make it. Terrain. Yeah. Good work. You see what that looked like? Warning. Yeah. Nothing crazy. Terrain. Solid. Terrain. Solid work. Above 75 miles are ready to climb. Good. Good work, Robbie. Nothing to it, right? It's just confidence. Uh-huh. It's just knowing your airplane. Right. You lose an engine. Okay, we have a way out. Correct. We have a way out. We'll fly with the pinnacles. I'll show you the pinnacles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely solid work. Solid, solid, solid work. Phenomenal. It's getting nice outside. The what? It's getting nice outside. Oh, yeah. Hey, what about fuel? We're good. We're fine. Okay. Yeah. We're close to home.
There's no fuel in Trona. That's right, but even if we landed, we'd go to... Let's go to Aniokar. You want to go there now? Yeah, let's do that. Aniokar, folks. Solid. Do the engine failures make sense? So let's talk about it for a second. My airplane? Your so airplane. you can focus. My plane. So here's how it works. When you lose an engine, the first thing we want to do is help the engine out. Give it stuff, right? It's just like... Imagine the engine is, um, imagine the engine is uh, a person. When someone first doesn't feel good, you want to help them out and give them stuff, right? You want to take care of them, give it stuff. If none of that works, now we revert to plan B. Plan A was to get our engine back. Right. Plan B is to put the plane down safely, so our whole mindset shifts. And when plan B shows shows up, not only are we no longer giving the plane stuff, but we also, that's fine, it's just in the climb. Not, o not only are we not giving the plane stuff, but we're also taking things away. Okay. So before we land, we take the electrical away. We turn the ignition off. Does that make sense? So there's no fire that happens when we touch down. So depending on our objective. Turn all the lights off and everything Correct. On. Turn all this off. Correct. So depending on our objective, but keep in mind, you want to do that last after you do the flaps. Oh, that's right. So depending on our objective, our whole philosophy changes. Because at first, we want to give it stuff. We want to help it. Fuel selector both, mixture and rich and ignition. Does that make sense? But once we made the decision, or once we realized, you know what, we're not getting our engine back. We're putting this thing down in the field. Then our whole mindset shifts and our plan of action changes. And from that point on, we take things away. Make sense? Yeah. Good stuff. Good work. Our fuel range. <laughs> no, that's the reserve. Oh. This bigger green one is where oh, we could okay. reach. Yeah. That's where we reach while dipping into our reserve. Yeah, we're climbing right now. Yeah. Uh, 65 is good. There we are. Your plane? My plane. Your plane. In your current. Let's switch back to that. Okay. Solid. Uh oh, there's someone landing over there. Or taking off. Yeah, it's probably the ones who are clicking the. Uh, When's the fuel tank showing up at Trona? Uh, I think we're going to get it tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah, but it's, I gotta get going to work to it though. Wow. That'll make a big difference. Yeah. Big difference. I'm trying to get back to 75. Trying to slow down a little bit, huh? There we go. And let's make a radio call. Any current traffic, white system. Uh, 10 miles to the southeast uh, inbound landing for one five. Good. current traffic and flight 1901 just departed in your current. We are uh, 4,400 climbing 6,500 departing southbound. Tell them we got you guys on the screen. Huh. We got you on the screen. For sure. Solid. Now that gives him the peace of mind that, okay, they know they see me on the screen at least. So they're not shooting in the dark. Let's not descend below six here until oh. we're done with the restricted. Oh, that's right. Great situational awareness. I want that to cement in your head. Not a hair under 63. Not a hair under 63. Back up, baby. 65. Man, your landings are perfect. 
Yeah, they're a lot better than it was in turnouts for sure. Unbelievable. Absolutely solid. Yeah, you probably see him climbing out right now. He's slightly to our left, 500 feet beneath us. He should be at our altitude in a moment. We should see him over there at our altitude in a second. We should see him uh, with, a, with a background yeah, in the sky. The so it'd be easy to see him. In just a moment, we should see him. With the background of the sky. And where's he at? Down there more. Now he's our altitude. We've got the jet shades, can't see out. Yeah, these are awesome. There's the airport. I don't know if we'll see him. Lower the floor. What's the TPA? Uh, 27. 35, you said. 35. Solid. 35. Good. All right, let's do our descent. Let's do our cow flaps closed. Cow flaps closed. Closed. There we are. Good. Lights on. Everything's uh, on. Good. Everything's Solid. On. On. Good. And we're good to go. There's the airport. You could start turning right for the downwind, and we could uh, begin our descent. The restricted is no factor, and we could make another call. We're five to the south. In the current traffic, white stuff in the five to the south, uh, inbound landing for one five. Okay. Good, let's see what they say. In your current airport, automated advisory, wind 130 at 12, altimeter 2982, for runway, listen for traffic. 2982. There we go. Solid. Put some flaps in? Sure. Absolutely. Good. Just do enter again? Good. And flight plan. Good. Absolutely solid. There we go. Yeah, you go there, there. Slip it. Slip it. Pitch down. Pitch down. Pitch down. Pitch down. Pitch down. Pitch down more. More. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> that amazing? Amazing. Another good use for uh, uh, slips. Huh. Let me show you something. Let's say my airplane. Sure. Let's say you want to show someone something there. Yeah. You want to tilt the wing so they could see. But if you do that, the plane will bank. Guess what you could do? Right. right. You could do this. And you don't even have to descend. You could just keep flying straight. Oh, wow. And now you have a view without the plane turning. <laughs> And the plane is banked. Look at that. So you could see like a solar project <laughs> without the plane turning into it. Does that make sense? Yeah. So that's another thing you could do with slipping. Your plane? Okay. Plant? As far as on both, count flaps open. Make sure it props Good. forward. Solid. Flaps are at 10 degrees. Lights are all on. Solida. All right. Show me a good landing. All right. I'll show you one. Show me how it's done. Okay. Teach me. Okay, being the numbers at 10 already. Go out a little bit.
get out here a little bit more. Love a coma. Why do we go mixture full for landing? Because you gotta do it go around. Good. I'll go a little bit further out. Maybe we're a little high. Yeah. Intercurrent traffic, white Sussex turn left base for 1-5. Intercurrent. Solid. Any current traffic, white sets are turning final one five. Oh, perfect. Keep that nose on. Look at that. A little wheelie. Uh, uh. Oh, I thought you were taking off again. Oh, uh, no. Good. So you never want to do this after landing. Yeah. Or while landing. Good. Right here? Uh, oh, we can do the next one. Yeah. Keep it rolling. Good! My hands were here at this point. I don't even come here because I know you got it. The last time, it's just a matter. It's just a matter of making it pretty. And remember, you don't stop flying the plane until the engine is shut down, shut off. That's it. Keep that nose off the off the thing. That's it. Easy schmazoo. Solid. Robbie, proud of you, man. Thanks, bro. Let's make a left on, uh, not the runway, but the taxiway after it. Way out there? there oh, remember, we went here last time. Yeah, I th actually, I think this is the, there's no taxiway there. Let's make left on the runway. Okay. And then we'll do a right. So left and right. Okay. Solid. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to In Your Kern, local time. Is five thirty three. Who lives here? Left, right, check that. Flaps up. Do we need to call it? We're on the runway now. Once we clear this, we'll say clear the clear the runways. Taxiing the fuel. I'm glad we can get some fuel. Let's maintain a thousand RPM. Let's lean around. There we go. Perfect. Stay on the side. Solid work. And we could say intercurrent traffic, white Cessna's clear of the active runways, taxiing the fuel. Uh, intercurrent traffic, white Cessna clear of the active runways, taxiing the fuel, intercurrent. Solid. Robbie, good work. Yeah, good day, huh? Better day. Good work.
Did you watch a Top Gun movie? No. A lot of it was filmed out here, you know. You were telling me, yeah, yeah. At this airport? Yeah. Love it. I love it. There we are. Okay, where's my checklist? After landing, shut down, about 2000. Okay, park and break, set that. Throttle to idle. Airbag all eight on. All 10. Leave cap power to. 